Hey guys, good morning. Um, a huge welcome to Cheryl Lavoy, whose latest uh, subscriber to the uh, Hook and Hut uh, YouTube channel. And thank you so very, very much for subscribing. Uh, that was exciting to wake up and see this morning. I always check in the morning uh, before I do a, a little vid uh, to see if there's anyone to greet. Uh, except for past couple weeks when I haven't been feeling well and Junior getting kicked off my back uh, uh, sort of threw me off. But anyways, thanks uh, and welcome aboard. Um, so I am a little bit closer to getting my sloppy eye cord finished. And still, if anyone knows how to make a eye cord actually look nice, I'd uh, love to have tips. Uh, but anyways, just about ready. And I should have that set to go onto my placemat. Uh, and have this all set and done so you can see it tomorrow. Um, but the other thing I've been working on, uh, which is not, believe it or not, it is not crochet or knitting related. It is sewing related. And it comes from um, the We Wonderfuls book and that I got dirt cheap off of YouTube quite a while back. And it's that cute little necklace there of a little dachshund. And it ca it's called a uh, doxy necklace. And anyways, I was thought it would be something new to add to my YouTube channel. And, or my YouTube channel. <laughs> to add to Etsy and still playing around with it. And I, yesterday I had tried to make it or not yesterday before I tried to make it and it was total bomb, wiped it out. I, I, I just killed it. And part, I it could be because I didn't fully read the instructions on how to do it. I just went through and, uh, actually I just did it wrong. That's <laughs> what I did. I did it wrong. Always read those instructions thoroughly. But I'm used to cutting out patterns. You know, you trace the pattern on, you cut the pattern out, and you do the sewing. You don't do that with her. This, you trace the little doggy onto the material. You sew the doggy. You then you cut around and leave uh, one eighth. What is it? One eighth trim on it. So I'm determined I'm going to get this right because I showed it off to a friend of mine, Susan, and she really liked it, thought it was so cute for, you know, little kids. And to make sure that I keep trying, I um, bought the Rick Rack for it. And this is the part that attaches to it and wraps around the little doggy's neck and then around your neck. And then this is attached to the other end of the doggy. Um, so that's his leash. leash. So... That's what I'm going to be up to today, is trying to perfect that. And I don't exactly have a whole lot of pattern material left. And I thought I'd make it out of this, because it's about the cutest material I have. And so hopefully uh, it'll work. But anyway, so that's it for me today. Uh, still not a whole lot going on. Biopsy came back. Biopsy was clear. Um, so that was great. And But I still can't... Um, uh, do heavy loads and stuff for another week. Boring. And so, so much for getting my hot water tank out and all of that yet. But anyway, so, and no, you know, that's going to, no hiking on the hill because um, it's a bit dangerous still. You want to, uh, you know, not do something stupid where you're going to slip and fall, which I do on occasion. Uh, when I'm up there, and that'll just rip my stitches out. So anyway, um, that's it for today. I uh, hope everyone has a great day, and we will catch you later.